Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from harvest in Grant County of what many say is black gold, winter canola with those tiny black seeds, the rotational crop that's now turned cash crop for a lot of producers. Despite the drought and recent hail damage in the field, Jeff Scott is still singing the praises of winter canola. On County Road 830, Hillcoat. He grew up on a farm and branched out on his own nearly 20 years ago to raise wheat and cattle. When I was approached by Dr. Peeper and Mark Boyles with Oklahoma State to grow canola, I first asked, what is it? <laughs> that know. question got answered pretty fast, and now Jeff is considered a seasoned canola farmer. It was eight years ago when I planted a whopping 10 acres. <laughs> And so in eight years, we've gone from 10 acres to 1,500 acres. In fact, Jeff is among a growing trend. Oklahoma producers planted an estimated 130,000 acres of winter canola last fall, twice what they planted just a year earlier. Experts say another large jump is expected this year, especially with canola prices around $12 a bushel. It's a fabulous crop that has turned the economy of my farming situation around from being a wheat and stalker cattle operator to now it's just about a hundred head mama cow operation. I run nothing on wheat pasture and uh, we're a 50-50 canola wheat rotation. Jeff's a big believer in the benefits of rotation and in passing on the knowledge to his son, Seth, age 15. He rented a farm last year and, and harvested his first canola crop this year. So we have a second generation canola farmer. He came to me and said, oh, he, we have an opportunity to go in halves and run a farm together and he asked me if I'd like to and I said yeah I'll try it. They run their combines side by side in the field splitting the work that goes into managing and overseeing the crop. Kind of get the feel for the farm more than just working actually having ground of my own. He's always been an integral part of the farm. He's been running a combine for five years now so you know we start him young and and bring them up and, and it does make me proud to see how the child has grown and the interest that he has in agriculture and I think he understands the importance of what we do out here to feed our country and the world. Most canola comes from Canada and North Dakota, but Oklahoma is stepping up as a major player, becoming the nation's second leading canola producer. The seeds are crushed and marketed for their beneficial oil. Jeff and his son plant four different canola varieties so harvest can be staggered. Timing is everything. If you're going to be successful with it, you have to become a better manager and agronomist within your farm. By being forced growing canola to become a better farmer, it has made me a better farmer on my wheat. I will see at least a 20% yield increase on my wheat following a canola rotation. I have seen 50% increases. From here, the canola either goes to the nearby elevator, is trucked to Kansas, or it's bagged and stored. At times, we don't get enough trucks in to take all the grain away, so here's my new experiment is a grain bag. So I've set up a grain bagging system, so I will load my own trucks, take them to my house, put them into great big grain bags. So they're gonna be about 500 foot long, 14 foot wide, large plastic bags that hold approximately 10,000 bushels of grain. Later in the summer, bags loaded with millions of tiny black seeds will be unloaded onto trucks and taken north. All to help meet the growing canola demand and continue to improve Jeff Scott's bottom line.